Hey, what's going on, everybody? GPE, the Zed with the Talon, and uh, trying to give an update. Kind of stinks that I had to hold off the Mega Squirt project getting it to run. Uh, we're right there. It starts at idles. Right now, I need to do a vacuum or boost leak test, but more or less a vacuum test because it's not idling. And rather than trying to uh, search through the code and not the codes, but the settings on Mega Squirt, I just need to do a simple boost leak test slash vacuum test on it. And I've been here working on it, but not really working on my car. I had one compressor that was given to me. That one didn't work. Then the reg then I got it to work and hold air. Now the regulator stuck, so I had to go to my neighbor and get his uh, air compressor for me. So pretty neat little trick that I found to do with a, uh, a hole that was in the intake manifold. So I put a little uh, Schrader valve in there just to be able to do a boost leak test or whatever. Um, the dilemma I'm running into is this piping... I know there's a boost leak up there. I need to tighten these up, but I really want to isolate up here in the intake manifold so I can hear it and spray the water and just isolate that. Um, I still have this hooked up. I don't have a length of three inch aluminum piping to fill the gap yet. So it's all hokey and, and really uh, cheesy in here right now, but my plan eventually is to change the diameter of the intake piping itself because three inches overkill I have no intention really to run 40 plus PSI or anything. Two and a half, two and a quarter, whatever I can find for a good price will be substantial enough for it. Um, plus it will do, if you see in here, I had to run a cut, I cut a older hose to keep the piping from running into the radiator there. But with the three inch, it fits and clears through real well, but it's still a tight fit that I just don't really want to have to deal with. If I run two and a quarter, it'll just go through it with uh, so much easier. Yeah, intake piping with the bead that I did at my school. Back when I was in my sheet metal school, I went in and bead rolled the ends, cut them to length. Um, let's get this. Off of here. Once again, I ran out of T-bolts, so I had to use hose clamp for this, but it works. Get off. Putin ah. there. Okay. This is a neat trick. Here's the trick. Odie, three inch pipe uh, stop, whatever. Um, drain, uh, drain pipe stopper I found. So I was like, does it work? <clears throat> it does. And then you tighten it down and it is instantly an air, uh, stop. Stops the air. Then with the Schrader valve right there, <clears throat> it's freezing cold outside right now, so I have the garage closed. No intention on starting the car today. Oh, I didn't even finish what you said. Um, no intention on uh, starting the car today. Sadly, my throwout bearing is completely shot. Oh, really? <laughs> So, give you an example. I looked, I found one forum, one forum on uh, an article, uh, somebody discussing a problem with the master cylinder and the slave cylinder for my car. And these are from the Irish Auto, Auto Pub or the Auto Zone. One or the other. It's a, it's, anyway, it's an aftermarket one. And they 
they don't work. So I was forced after all the time and burning out the throw out bearing. This is a bad one. Um, I have since changed the OEM to, to an OEM throw out bearing all the time. Every time I had to do it. And it's still the throw out bearings prematurely burn out because of the engagement I have to do on the pedal. It's a hydraulic, so it automatically adjusts. It, uh, well, it's like this with the pin and the engagement pushes it out so much and it puts a preload on the bearing on the fingers of the clutch. So when you disengage it, it's supposed to be free with the clutch spinning without this having any load on it. But to get it to where it'll disengage the clutch fully and I can put it into first gear without grinding when I let it off, when I let the pedal off, and it's still holding on there, like I said. So that's what made my throw bearing. Now all these starts and idles, it's gotten so bad. I had to order it. Now it's not projected to be shipped till Monday. So here we go again. I got to tear it apart and take the transmission off again to change the throw bearing. But this time I got the OEM master cylinder and an OEM slave cylinder. Change the fluid out. And see what happens this time because uh, if it doesn't work after this, I, I have no idea. My engagement, uh, my engagement point is uh, not even a half inch off the floor. I pull the clutch off the floor, it instantly bites. That's just, if you want it there optionally, that's one thing. But I have to have it that low because of this problem. Hopefully this resolves it. And if it does, then I will be a very happy DSMer. I can't get to it at this angle, can I? Yes, I can. Hey, hey, how about that? Let's see. Well, I hear it. I hear it leaking, but I need to spray some uh, boost leak juice on it. And yes, we here at GPE have patented our own boost vacuum leak detector detectant solution. Okay, if you act now, one like will tell you the ingredients to our patented GPE boost vacuum leak detectant solution detector. Two times more active suds. Maybe we need to make it four times, huh? That's not a lot of suds, huh? Womp, womp. So anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can do this again. And come on in. Head's in the way. Sorry, guys. Look at the look at the leaks. You guys see that? Problems. Oh, we got a problem. So we have a leak there. That's a problem. And Let's see if we have the injector seals. That's the lordy lordy problems. You know what the real pain in the butt is, is that the vacuum ports are underneath this manifold. So to see any leaks underneath there is near impossible. Um, to spray it is even harder. Uh, but I know I have leaks here. But will that really affect the map sensor? I don't have any leaks on the actual 
It's leaking on this side of the throttle body, not on that side. That side is sealed up good. The, uh, the plate, the mounting plate for the throttle body to the intake manifold is, is good. It's not leaking. But I was wondering if it was leaking up there at the manifold to the block side, and it looks like it's good with no uh, bubbles showing there.